In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways to arc your text. The first way, we need to grab the Type tool. The shortcut key for that is T. And we'll put some text out here in our design. Uh, we might just write out the word Curve. And then I'm going to switch up the font really quick to Enter Bold. And we're going to make it bigger so we can see it. Okay, so once we have that text written out, what we need to do is actually go up to Object, down to Text or not text wrap, uh, it's actually going to be envelope distort. And we're going to make it with a warp. So in the warp options, you can see we start actually with an arc warp. There's a lot of different warp styles here if you want to play with any of these. But if you want to arc your text, we're just going to choose arc. This is too much, but it does demonstrate something. You can see how it also skews your text. Basically, it takes those shapes and warps them into an arc shape. So as you push the percentage higher and higher, your text will become more and more warped. So it's best to keep this bend percentage down a little bit lower. And this works really well if you're looking for just a slight curve in your text. So if I click off of that, I can see now that I've curved that text a little bit. However, if you want to keep your text completely untouched with warping, what we can do is type on a path and just make that path an arc. The quickest way to make an arc is to grab the line segment tool, make a line out here. Now it's going to be diagonal unless you hold shift and then it's going to be perfectly horizontal right there. Now I need to grab this tool. It's called the curvature pen tool. Looks like the pen tool with a line coming out of it. So we grab that tool. We can come here to the middle of our line segment and we can click and drag it upward. This is a really nice tool to quickly kind of bend lines and, and create an arc shape really quick. So as long as we're somewhere in the center, this will be proportional. I'm just going to make this arc like that. Next, we need to press T for the type tool and come down here on the path until you see this cursor. Hopefully it shows up for you. It's kind of flickering on my screen, but it's got a line through it. Also, underneath the Type tool, if you click and hold, there's actually a Type on a Path tool. So you could select that, you just don't have to. But then we click on that first anchor point, we write out the word Curve. It probably pulls in the same font styling that we had from what we typed before. Next, what I would do is select that word, come over here into my Properties panel under Paragraph and center it, because we want to center it on that arc. There's a few other things we need to look at here. So we come up here and select the direct selection tool. There's these two lines with white boxes on the ends. If you hover over the line itself, you can control the ends, uh, the in and the out point of your text. So when you've centered your paragraph uh, or used the paragraph alignment option to center your text, it's going to center between these two points. So if those points for any reason are off of the exact ends of your line, then just drag them to the end like that. And same thing with this guy. He can be dragged forward or all the way back to the end. It's possible you clicked somewhere not quite on the anchor point, and so it might start the text here. So if you notice your text is centered, but it looks off, just make sure the in and out points, which are controllable there, uh, are adjusted. But that is how you can arc your text here in Illustrator. That's two different options. One that warps your text a little bit, you can actually see the difference there. I don't know if you can see the C is a little bit wider there. Uh, and then one that just types right on a path that is curved. Let me know if you have any questions down below.